Hello, and welcome to this quick demo of our vulnerability management dashboard for AWS. My name is Alex Diggett, product manager here at Anishin. The reason we built this vulnerability management dashboard is to give you one single dashboard that has an overview of all vulnerability scanners, vulnerability reports that are available in your application environment, as well as in our ATO environment. And we also want you to get up-to-date information, that means nightly scans um, that you can see on the dashboard, independent of your PUM report creation date, which usually only happens once per month or maybe twice per month where we update that, uh, which has a much longer time for vulnerabilities to just be in your system before you actually um, see those and are able to do something about them. Usage here is definitely for your security and compliance teams, as well as for our SecOps teams, um, as we work together patching your environment. Um, it's located in the Kibana dashboard within your ATO boundary um, on, on the jump host that we provide to you. Um, we definitely can use it to just like get an overview of vulnerabilities, um, but it's really best used for any kind of patch planning and scheduling for all of our security teams, as well as yours um, that, that, yeah, patch vulnerabilities, um, because what we do is we detect the original detection data for vulnerability, and then based on its severity, we have a counter called days left to remediate, which we every day we count down so that you can see not only the high vulnerabilities, but all the vulnerabilities that will make you fall out of FedRAM compliance soon, based on the amount of time you have to patch those. And enough talk about it, let's actually jump into a demo and see what it looks like in action. So this is the start page of our vulnerability dashboard. Um, in the first row, you see a couple of different filters, like a, a pie chart of the severity of vulnerabilities you have, the current overall count, uh, different filters, depending on how many vuln scanners we have integrated in your environment. You can select the different sources there uh, to only filter vulnerabilities from that specific source. And you have a trending uh, timeline where we see like, for example, we had like two big patch days um, in the recent like 14 days that's a, on a per day basis um, where we've remediated a lot of vulnerabilities. Underneath, you have two tables, one just showing all the current vulnerabilities um, that we found in your last nightly scan. Um, I'll get over the different columns in a second. And then we also have what we call a poem light view, which is very similar to those vulnerabilities in the table, but it shows you um, the vulnerabilities formatted correctly in uh, a poem format. And that has a couple of advantages because when we later learn how you can filter in that dashboard, you can then also export whatever uh, vulnerabilities you filter down in a, uh, in a CSV format, which you can then open in your Excel uh, and basically already have um, your vulnerabilities in a poem format uh, readily available for you. Um, what you can always do in all Kibana dashboards is they're awesome at filtering and uh, showing data. So for example, you could uh, very easily click on the FedRAM Pi column here uh, in, in your pie chart, and that filters the entire dashboard to only show vulnerabilities that are actually uh, have FedRAM vulnerability high. Um, you can then go ahead and, for example, filter down further with like only show me things from container security, um, which then also in the trending you see only FedRAMP high and container security um, output. And then you can even go further, um, if you look at a couple of those vulnerabilities here, you can even look further and say um, I only want to show the MariaDB one. Um, which then, of course, since there's only one vulnerability, we only have one host in our demo environment here, or only a few hosts, uh, this, this in, is a container on that host, um, and then we, we see only that one vulnerability. And what you then see underneath here in the in the poem light table, we actually get more information around that. We get the, the more of a weakness description, but we also get a remediation plan, the CVE ID, the original detection date, so a lot of things um, are available there. Um, to further drill down into this vulnerability. And if you really want to get a good overview, we also have this link to discover here, which then opens a new tab for you, and I already have that open here, which basically gives you even further information, everything we know about this vulnerability from the Vuln Scanner, uh, the impact, the, the package version you need to update to if it's a package issue, where the security lies, uh, which report it was created on, um, as I said, what the impact could be, vulnerability IDs, uh, different scoring uh, scores. So everything your security engineer might need to fix this vulnerability is available on that screen. 
And as I mentioned earlier, we also have this days to remediate column. So this has already fallen out of compliance. We should have remediated this one 56 days ago, which is okay for our demo environment. For your environment, that should not happen. But what you can also do, of course, um, is you can remove those filters up top here which then will give you the whole overview again. And then you see a lot of vulnerabilities. Some of them already should have been patched, but some of them you see here, we have four days left to actually um, make sure we get, those, uh, we get those taken care of. So that's a quick overview of our vulnerability dashboard. There's a ton of things you can do. You have export functionality, you have a good search for functionality um, and all of the data that we show here is dynamic, is dynamically exportable, is filterable, and should give you a whole view around the security state of your environment. Um, but this is not all. There's uh, a ton of things that we're still doing to that vulnerability management dashboard. We are uh, constantly adding additional scan sources. Uh, we have Qualys, Tenable uh, al already. We're working on uh, Burp and Sysdig and uh, AWS Inspector, for example, um, to give you a broader range of vulnerability reports that can be displayed there. Um, we already can export current vulnerabilities in the poem format, as, I, as I've just shown, um, but there's uh, another integration step we can do with our poem automation feature, which makes that even more seamless for you. If you want more information, uh, please reach out to me um, and we can definitely schedule a demo session where we can talk more about that. Um, if you're interested in deploying this vulnerability management dashboard, it is free of charge and we even deploy that for you into your environment. So there's nothing for you to do other than reaching out to your Anishan account manager, to our customer support team, and um, yeah, just tell them per email that you, that you are interested in uh, having the vulnerability management dashboard deployed. Um, you will need in ServiceNow, you will need to approve that change so that we can actually deploy it in your environment. Um, but that's all that's really needed and then you can use it right away. Um, if you have any feedback or any questions, uh, please reach out to me or to our product management team. Uh, we can always schedule a private session. We can always open feature requests for you um, for things that you would like to have um, and that you would like to see on the dashboard. Thanks so much for your attention and uh, I hope I'll see you soon. Bye.